Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not because the wind is blowing right, right at me. But anyways, today's adventures involve this here submarine. Right, we're going to go inside it. We're going to check it out. Right, this one was famous. This one sank a bunch, bunch of Japanese boats and stuff during World War II. Right, so, so, here we are. Hang on. Right here, we're standing right at the very end of the submarine right here. So there's the deck down there. Right. Never been on a submarine. <laughs> First time ever. Huh? This is a wheel for the mooring rope. Uh, those are one of the hatch doors. Uh, cleats. Side down cleats. Wow, this is wood. This part right here is wood. Emergency exit door, I guess. It's locked. Wow, the decking is made out of wood. It's pretty long. Another emergency hatch. Exhausting fans. Looks like they might have had. Nah. Well, they replaced that one. That one looks, you know, a few years old. <laughs> this one's pretty old. It's a cool boat. I don't know too much about submarines. These are side decks. It's where the ballast tanks are, I believe. Right. Okay, here's the crane. Right, for loading the torpedoes in and all that stuff. Right. More wood. Danger, do not climb on the deck. Do you? Gunner's chair. Huh? Conning tower and all that stuff. Number 310. Another gun. Anti aircraft. The decking under this is like really cool. Torpedo slide down the hole. Another hatch. Main hatch. That's where the divers and stuff came out, probably. You see them in the old movies all the time. Lights, all kinds of stuff, running light. A lot of forward stuff here. It's probably torpedo stuff or something. Figure out how we get in this dang thing. I'm down here on the hole now. See, look, I got all this cool shit inside here. It's under the decking. Right? The stairs, the steps, the torpedo hole. Right? Let's see, we're going in. That one's got a torpedo in it. Her keel was laid on December 27, 1942, at the Portsmouth Navy Yard in New Hampshire. The batfish is named after a fish looking fish found in the West Indies. She is a below class. There's a bunk right here. This dude slept with the fish. Look at that. There's some kind of air tank. Look at all this stuff. This shit's cool. Historic, let's see. Oh. But, Communication station or something. Uh, and periscope thing or something for upstairs. Ah, oh, look, look. Here's the can. They call this the head. <laughs> Hydraulics or something. <laughs> Pantry. This is the kitchen, this is the galley area right here. Mm -hmm. Big giant coffee pot. Huh? Huh? Officer's mess. Mm -hmm. Can't go in the dock. Huh? Here's somebody's bunk area, probably an officer. Huh? The other end of the galley area. 
This is another officer's bunk right here. Right. Two bunks. Right. Officers. More bunks. Emergency only. Yeah, look at this. Uh, this was the medical station right here. Can't see it because the light's burned out. And another, another, you know, airtight door. Huh? Okay, here's the bolt box. Wow, emergency light. Right. We're getting closer. We're getting to the middle, so this is like where the where they drove the boat, the war operations. Look at all this stuff. Start, stop, front control room, forward bulkhead door. Access to the conning tower is through a watertight opening called the lower conning tower. The smallest compartment aboard a submarine. The conning tower contains the main navigation and firing control for the sub. Primary rudder control is also located in the conning tower. Considered one of the oldest components of ship control, the rudder steers the sub by creating force against the flow of water. Turning the rudder to the left moves the stern to the right. Operation requires the vessel to Look at this electronic board right here. Oh my god. Look at all the burnt out fuses. Consider the eyes of the submarine. The periscopes are also located in the conning tower. The periscopes are used for attack. Can't go up there. That's the upper. That's where the captain and all them dudes were planning the battles. There are two periscopes in the back here. Look at this ballast tank stuff. Mm -hmm. The heck is this? Wow, communication station right here. This is it. This is all they got. Switches, dials, a couple of tilt type, tilt type, typewriter things. Well, all kinds of shit. Let's see. Galley. Uh, this is where they cooked all the food and shit. Uh, there's the, the grill tops. Uh, here's the mess hall. Sink. Look at this. This is big. This is bigger than my room. Crew's mess. Checkers, all kinds of shit. Look at that. Pictures of the boat, submarines. Uh, here's the crew duck, the crew quarters. Look at that. Two, four, six, eight. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Thirty guys. Thirty guys living in here. That's what I'm talking about. Beneath the floor is the battery. Now here's the here's the the head. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Cruise lavatory. Now look at the shower. I got big the shower room here. Wow, look at this shit. Fuck. Barely fit in. Here's the nozzle. Holy crap, it's smaller than the Jeepy John. <laughs> look at that, brass. Brass on the sink, look at that. All right, brass. All right, what's this, the closet? Yep, yep, Lenny's closet and shit. Man, look at them chicks. Hmm. Well, another airtight hatch. This one's airlocked, half battery space. See where the bags are? <sighs> This is the motor right here. Look at this big diesel engine tool. Are you kidding me? Look at that shit. Smells like fucking cotton lean in here. Look at that. There's the other one. These fucking motors are gigantic. To reset over speed stop this lever this way. Push that one. Alright. Alright. Ding 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 ding. Right. All ahead full, chief. Alright, look at that shit. Alright, and starter motor. Another starter motor. All right, look at that. She's Nick. These are some big ass. Woo. Okay, now. I'm gonna see at the back. Another airtight door. Ah, uh, two more big old giant motors. Holy smoke! Provide power for the motors when 
the submarine is on the surface or snorkeling. Batteries power the motors when submerged. The fuel oil and compensating system delivers fuel oil to the engine. Oh, smoke. Another airtight door. These are the generators right here. This is the end of the boat. Huh? The battery conductors and buses. Oh, this is where all the big batteries were. They took them all out. Oh, man, there's all kinds of switches. And oh, this thing's like the space shuttle. Look at these big ass giant switches. Creed's mess. These are the circuit breakers. What? Oh, look. Oh, this is where Homeboy sat right here. Huh? The submarine's generators to charge the batteries or to power the main propulsion motors. The submarine's electric motors drove the twin propellers. Electricians make O.D. Hawkins. You have uh, two men that are on the main control cubicle, a port operator and a starboard operator. The signal comes from the bridge on speeds like one third forward, one third reverse, charge the batteries. So we had control of the speed of the engines, how the uh, electricity was taken from the generators either to the batteries or to the main motors. The submarine was always operated by... And then this is the apt end of the, of the whole boat right here. They had extra torpedoes for the back tubes. See, they got a couple more tubes back here. Four of them. Yeah, yeah, four of them. Four more submarine tubes, you know, torpedo tubes. Let's turn it. Baby. <laughs> Dude, this is so awesome. Here's one of the hatches. Uh -huh. Yep. Just me, Brian. <laughs> Checking out a submarine today, bro. So this is fucking awesome. Hey, look, here's another hatchway that they made. Thank you. Outer doors for the front torpedo tubes. Now, look at this. I don't know if you see it or not. Ah, it's so cool. Probably about oh, 50, 60 yards long or something like that. Yeah. It's a cool ass boat. USS Batfish. Right? US Navy 310. This is a hero, this boat. Right? Like that old Navy CB truck out in the desert in Nevada. <laughs>